guys, welcome back to my channel for another video and welcome if you are new. My name is Antonisha Lachey and I primarily make videos on my channel about planners, time management, and organization. I do occasionally make lifestyle and business type videos as well. So if that is something that you are interested in, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have not already, make sure you hit that bell so that you are notified whenever I post new videos. And we are going to go ahead and get started. Quick disclaimer again, I am batch recording a bunch of videos in one day. You will hear the bobcat because Alan is outside landscaping. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Today I am talking about my mental health journal. This journal is very, very important to me. I'm not gonna talk too much about my mental health journey um, and a mental health update. I will link below um, a video about my mental health journey. I think I filmed that video it's almost a year now. I think I filmed it about May or June of last year, of 2019. Um, it was right before I started my current job, about a couple weeks before I started my current job. So I will link that below if you want um, to just to know what exactly my mental health situation is, um, if you are not aware. Um, so I will link that video below. I do have a mental health update because a lot of things have been happening not so good um and so i do want to update you guys on that and talk about some things that are going to be happening in the month of may um because may is mental health awareness month um so a lot of things that i will be doing on my channel but today i just want to focus on my mental health journal journal so this journal is this is the happy planner um guided journal and then i also have um some happy notes note paper in here um, that I use for just freehand journaling and some other things like that. So I will go through this. Um, I will skip over the pages that I've written on. I haven't done too much journaling. I've only been doing this. Um, I've done this before, but I just reset this up. So I took out some of the older pages. So there's only like maybe three days worth of journaled pages in here. So, and I purposely did that. So I wouldn't show too much um, personal things. So let's go ahead and get started. So I purposely did this yellow, purple is my favorite color, but yellow is my happy color. Um, I, my family calls me a flower or a plant and they really call me a plant because the sun, um, my mood really does change with the weather. So when it's bright and sunny outside, like it is right now, I am just happy as a clam. Like I go outside, I need fresh air. I love being outside. I love being in the sun. I can't get too overheated because then my migraines kick in, unfortunately. But I love being outside in the sun when it's like dark and gloomy outside. Like in the winter time, my mood gets really bad and it's just, it's bad. So yellow is my bright, sunny, happy color. Um, whenever I do my office tour, you guys will see a lot of pops of yellow. Um, in my office, but so that is why I chose this color with lots of yellow, yellow discs. Um, I purposely bought Happy Notes that had yellow discs just so I could take the yellow discs. I used the note paper too, but I purposely bought it for the yellow discs. Um, love all the bright colors. This uh, cover says never stop loving. And then on the inside it says spread the happy all around, which I absolutely love for this particular journal. Um, so this says, this is your one precious life, live creatively, live fully uh, right now, then choose joy every day, plan a happy life, and then this is number one. So in this first section, this first section is like a reference section for me. So on this first page, I just have a list of things that I want to add. Um, I can zoom in just a little, it's the wrong way, zoom in just a little bit more. So this first section, I have just a page of things I want to add to this reference section. So I watched a video from Tarshel B. Um, she suffers from um, bipolar disorder, um, which again, I will link the video below, but I have kind of cycled back and forth between being diagnosed with bipolar disorder and cyclothymic disorder. As of a few weeks ago, I have officially been re-diagnosed as having um, bipolar disorder two, bipolar two disorder, um, and specifically bipolar depression. And so anyways, Tarshel B, she suffers from um, bipolar disorder as well. And I was watching one of her videos where she does have a um, I don't know if she calls it a wellness journal, self-care journal, or what she calls her journal, but she had a bipolar mood scale um, and it was 
absolutely it, it was something she had found online and she recreated it in her journal and i wanted to recreate one in mine as well um i sat and watched a video with alan he thought it was an excellent idea and a way for us to communicate about uh, my moods as well so i need to recreate that and put it in here i wanted to keep a running list of self-care ideas and then i wanted to get some information about some essential oils um <clears throat> excuse me I know that essential oils are amazing for my mood. They're also really amazing for my migraines. Um, at Scentsy, we sell a great deal of essential oils. I actually just put in a Scentsy order this morning and I ordered a new diffuser and some essential oils. And then I also have a couple friends that sell doTERRA. Um, I'm not interested in selling doTERRA, but um, I am interested in getting some essential oils from them. So I've been kind of talking to them and getting some information about different essential oils that we don't have at Scentsy um and getting like the correct blends and things like that so i just want to keep some information about different essential oils that we have and then some of the ones that like doTERRA and young living and things like that have that would be good for my mood and for my migraines um and then i just have some extra note paper here again this is the bright yellow um happy notes note paper that came with these yellow discs um so i have some of that in here and then this section is the actual um what do you call it the guided journal so i'm going to skip through all of that because that's kind of the section that i wrote on so this is what it looks like so there is this weekly spread and it so you put it's all undated so you put the week of and it says what i'm looking forward to this week and it gives you four spaces what is one thing i would like to do more of this week how can i make that happen what important needs do i have that aren't being met then on a scale of 1 to 10, where am I when it comes to being calm and centered? One way to improve this week. And then it says way, ways to take care of myself. And then it has a spot for physically and mentally. And you can just make a list. And then let me zoom out. Just a tad. And then on this side, it's just blank and open. And then you have three habit trackers. Um, so I will show you last week's because it's not too. So normally what I will track is journaling, which is in here. Um, last week I tracked doing four cups of water. As you can see, I didn't keep up with my journaling or my water or any of that. Um, and then writing for self-discovery is a um journaling course that i was taking on skillshare so in this empty section i just listed out all of the different lessons on this skill the skillshare course that i'm taking i'm still in the process of taking it um so and then i've just been checking off as i'm completing the lesson so this particular course is called writing for self-discovery six journaling prompts for gratitude and growth um what i did i think i was watching someone's video that their video was sponsored by skillshare and i clicked on their link and got um two months of skillshare premium for free and so i was like you know i see it all the time and i was like you know what let me actually use it especially because i'm at home got this extra time on my hands i've been reading a lot of my books in my library like let me actually use it and take some journaling courses so i um i started taking this one so that's what i use this for also normally um try to cover up some of this so normally on matter of fact, let's just fold it over so that is on a sunday normally after sunday um before you get to the weekly page again there's just this blank dot grid page what my plan is is to um hold on i have this um kodak mini 2 photo printer i think i talked about this like I think I didn't get it last year for Black Friday, like not last year. So 2018 for Black Friday, I got this. Um, so what my plan is, is at the end of the week, I take so many pictures with uh, my phone throughout the week of my kids and my food and house projects and just everything. You guys see it if you follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting on Instagram. So at the end of the week, what I want to do is I want to print out a bunch of pictures of just stuff that has just made me happy throughout the week um and just post it here and just make a collage of all the stuff that's just made me happy for the week and so that's that and then the only other section i have in here is at the very end i just have happy notes in here and just for freehand journaling and just keeping notes on the courses that i'm taking and that's really it so this will grow as i grow in my mental health journaling 
um and i'll probably do some updates obviously i won't show you my journaling but if i add anything substantial to it like when i do that bipolar um mood scale i will probably show that to you guys because that was an excellent video that tarshell did i will link that video below if you guys are interested in seeing it um, but if you guys have any questions comments leave them below give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying all these planner videos this month subscribe to the channel if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next one bye